I'd like to introduce to you two functions, and they are both closely related. The first is the RAND between, and the second is the RAND. All right, so let me first define these for you before we go into an example. The RAND between will return a random integer between two numbers and you're going to specify the two numbers. So let's go through an example here. Let's say we want a random number between 0 and 100. We set this up as follows. Equals rand between the bottom number is 0 and the top is 100. What this function will deliver is any random integer, that is, no, no decimal points, it's a straight whole integer between the numbers 0 and 100. Press enter, and that random number is 33. Now, the, this rand between function works great if you're trying to create something like a dice. What do I mean by that? Well, a dice has numbers 1 through 6, if I alter this formula to read 1 through 6, you now have a random number or like a random spin of a dice that faces with a number 1. So I can refresh this by clicking Control R and each time I refresh a number, new random number is generated. So this works great for dice. And you're going to see in a video where we create a simple dice game, so I encourage you to check it out because we do use this rand between function to recreate a dice. All right, so what's the rand function? The rand function will return a number, a random number, might I add, between 0 and 1. So the bottom and the top number have already been set for you. So in that case, you don't have to enter any arguments. You simply enter in the rand with the open and close paren, and a random number between 0 and 1 will be generated. So 0 and 1, it could take on a decimal format. I converted it into a percentage format. In other words, this random number will be, be between 0 and 100%. And the way I think about RAND is I think it makes a great way to generate random probabilities because as we know, probabilities take on a value between 0 and 100% or 0 to 1. So there you have it. Two mathematical functions, RAND between and RAND, with their definition and example and what they would be useful for. All right, see you next time.